Hey, how's it going guys? JC here and today we have another gold one game and this one is against Gallio with teleport and courage. So OP.GG Rinse Masteries is on the screen. This time we're going for longsword and refillable. I have teleport so even if Gallio was to push me out, I'd probably still be able to teleport back and buy my Tiamat. Then I'll be able to permanently shove him in or actually match his wave clear. And that's what you pretty much do against tanks. You build Tiamat to be honest. Also longsword is a pretty aggressive start. So say if I want to fight him, I have the option to do so because I have the damage to do so. But it looks like he's just going to Q the wave and just shove me in. So all I can do is really just farm under tower or just farm and get my tier mark because you just can't match his wave clear, you know? His Q is just way too good. I wonder if he goes out of mana. That is the question. Oh my god, I just missed everything. Damn. That's a very bad start in terms of CSing because every time you get a last hit, you get 10 Fury. And that's very important early on, is you want to make sure you get that Fury. I'm also getting chunked really hard because of collateral damage from Galio. He just ordered me once as well. But yeah, Galio is pretty, pretty strong. In terms of, you know, just doing straight up wave clear and just damage all up. Yeah, pretty nasty. So that's why I said we just farm up, because that's all we can do. It's not possible to do much else. Unless I ran Ignite, then maybe I could have went to lane right away and not given a leash then maybe I could have fought him, just just like a very slight maybe, but I think he'll still kill the minions really early on, before I can even get some fury. So that is the problem. Yeah, just trying to scrape up as much CS as possible, and I'm hoping that when I go back, I would have about 850 gold or 950, just enough for Tiamat. That's all I really need. So that's where we come into getting pushed under tower, and then after that, We'll be able to just try to stay as healthy as possible, max that Q. Wow, okay, that taunt just made me miss the cannon. Okay, that's fine. That's what I'm expecting, is to get pushed under tower, but not for long, because after our first purchase, we're going to be good to go. I don't know why that one died prematurely. That's kind of annoying. But yeah, missing free CS is very bad, so... What I'm doing right now in terms of CSing is very, very bad. It's very poor. But I'm only 1 CS, or I'm exactly the same as Galio, so that means we're both doing really, really bad. Right now, my CSing is at a gold level, that's what it tells me. So I need to make sure I improve on that right now. Looks like Galio might have went back, so I can shove this in and go back myself. Since the tower just shoved it in for me, so the next wave that arrived, I instantly shove it out, it will crash. But say if it, that didn't happen, if it didn't, just fresh, if it didn't just freshly shove from my tower and I shoved the first wave myself, it won't crash into tower, if that makes sense. Okay, so we go back by our Tiamat components, and the important thing about shoving it into tower is that it groups up his minions, and then look at how it's pushing. See how there's two caster, there's two melee minions to one of my melee, so it's going to push. Given that he's already in lane and he's also pushing it, but you guys know what I mean, even if he wasn't there, it will push towards me. Also, look at how his wave after that arrives before my one does. See, they were all grouped up here, so his his reinforcements will come first. And that itself will also push. What, why didn't I get that CS? I don't even understand. Like, that looked like my auto animation went off and I got that cannon, but obviously it didn't for some reason because there's no gold that showed up. So, I don't know. I think that one was pure just unlucky with that CS. Man, CSing in this game is so tilting right now. What the heck is going on? Okay, he's getting really brave with me. Let's see, he has Corrupting Potion, so I guess that's why. I really need to eat a plant in the river, and then I'll be able to match him. But right now, look, it's looking pretty rough. Yeah, yeah. I'll just avoid his Qs right now because I need to heal up to full and then also get some Fury at the same time. Every time he smacks me with his passive, that hurts so much. Like, that was just purely from passive. And, well, I Q healed after that, but that hurt a lot. Okay, so I'm going to hit level 6. I think I can fight him here. Okay, where is he? He's missing. 
But once he comes back to lane, this is still slow pushing into me, but very, very slow. Okay. I think I think I can fight him regardless if Yi comes or not. Okay. I'm just gonna go for it. I couldn't stop him. Damn. That sucks. I tried to stop him because his dash actually has a really big collision radius, so if I was anywhere near him when he winds backwards, I can stop him from charging. So that's what I was trying to do, but mm, didn't work out. What I want to do is last hit this wave, and the next wave that comes, I want to hard shove it. So I want to E through the next wave, but right now I'm just going to last hit. The reason for that is I want it to crash into tower. And that's very important. Every time you want to go back, you're always thinking of doing that or freezing, but... Because I can't freeze it since it's already slow pushing, that's the, my only option is to hard push this one. Yeah, he's looking to fight me for some reason. I mean, I'm going to fight him very soon. Right now, I just want it to push in. Okay, so there we go. We pushed it in, we go back and get our Tiamat. And this time, he has no wave control because we have all the control over him. So this is where the tables turn. We have, we have our Tiamat and our attack speed daggers, so going to be really good. I kind of wanted to have Doran Shield too, just because he's doing a lot of damage to me, and I don't want to die this quickly. So Doran Shield would be a pretty good start if you guys want to verse Galio and run this sort of build. Or this sort of setup. Okay, Yi's over there. What Yi would probably do is take red and either gank mid or top. Okay. Yeah, that's, that's a dead Xerath. I'm just going to push this in. Uh, this will crash into tower right away, just because Tiamat's really good early. There might be Vi coming with Galio, so that's why I'm backing away. But since I see Galio... Yeah. Also, it's safe to put a pink ward here, because I know that I have wave control. I'm going to be shoving him in instead. So he won't be able to roam with ult as easily. Okay, Vi is here. Okay, I'll make sure I escape this way because I saw where they come from. But because Annie has... Annie has regular boots, that sucks. I can't get away from her. Alright, I got one kill. Let me see if I can get out. Yeah, I think I can get out. That's it. There we go. So we got a kill and we get out. And now we're going to go back and, you know, do our stuff. That was pretty sick though. Okay, head straight back to lane. But yeah, the combo I did there was auto, auto Tiamat E. And that's the combo. That's like a burst combo you can do with Tiamat. It's really nice. So yeah, now, now I just want to keep shoving this in. I just shove non-stop and hopefully we can do something off of this. But I feel like Xerath should have so much more wave control because we distracted Annie and we distracted Vi for such a long time. But it's, you know, it is lower elo, so you can't expect them to put pressure. So you, you shouldn't get mad if they don't do things that you expect them to do. Definitely don't get mad because that'll just tilt them even more. Like basically expect the worst from your teammates and try to win from that. But just know that the enemy team is just as bad. So you, you're good to go. Like. You could get unlucky and your team could lose straight up really badly, but just know that it evens out eventually and both teams will be the same. Because that's just replying to some of the comments that I get, saying that, you know, I'm stuck in elo hell, my team's bad and everything, you know. And it's just like really unfair, it's always a 1v9, all of that stuff. I don't think we can do this one. Maybe. I have to get out. That's the very last second. Worked out though. Really nice. So I guess we get a good... We get a pretty decent tower dive off. And then we get this tower. Because, you know, that's just how Master E works. Or actually how any jungler that does damage works. Because you just tank the tower for them. Oh, damn. These Tibbers might kill me. Wow, what is that teleport? That was kind of trippy. 
but I guess that's Galio's teleport down. What I want to do is get my PD components. I'll go back to top. I want to push this out and then get Rift Herald. Then I can look to help bot lane. I think bot lane needs help, definitely. Look at that. They're 1 and 7, so they're feeding their ass off. So we need to help them ASAP. And by help them, I just mean end their laning phase. Get this tower. So I'm going to get Rift Herald and then type that I'm going to bot soon. And that we're going to try to end their laning phase. So maybe communicate it. I know that one time I did this and then the ADC rage quit because this was like in bronze elo. And what they did was I went, I, I pushed this out and I tried to summon Rift Herald here. And by the time I pushed this out, the ADC already went AFK. Is already recalled at Fountain and AFK. And after that, he just started running it down mid. Funny enough, it was a Draven as well. But it wasn't Tyler 1. Oh, rip. Oh, I'm dead. I didn't expect this many. I just expected Sona and Caitlyn. So what I wanted to do was clear this out and then just, you know, come around and maybe do Rift Held while they were still pushing. But it just didn't work out. That really sucks for me. Oh, rip. <laughs> he got it. Alright, nice. So hopefully he's going to use that at mid or bot. So Marcy actually made up for what I did wrong, which was I got called out by three people. Wasn't supposed to happen. I didn't expect Vi there at that exact second. So luckily he took Rift Herald, but I'm hoping that he uses it mid. And then I can take bot tower. But just use it anywhere other than top. Because we really just need the outer towers ASAP. They give so much more map control if you can get those early. Okay, see if we could get... Ah, uh, never mind. There's a Galio here. And Vi's also around the corner, so we can't do that just yet. I'm going to try to fight this Galio and get him lower. Any bit of damage is good. Because I know he's going to be there for the team fight. So now we soften him up, maybe we could do something. Probably not. Mm, my W was on cooldown, that's what I was trying to press. Okay, we'll just keep pushing our bot. As long as we get some forward pressure going, that's always a good thing. So we're just pushing him under tower and putting up pressure. Eventually, if we see the others somewhere else, we might be able to dive him. But for now, I just want to keep this pushed. It also gets me rich as well. So that's just the more TP-based playstyle. Also, one thing I discovered, if you get QSS, is so good against TF, if you're split pushing. Because what he'll do is he'll port on you, and then you just spin on top of his little port, and you'll just kill him because you have QSS. He can't do anything to you. Nice, my team's doing work. That's good. Because this galley is going to hold me for quite a while. That's just how tanks are. But I could also teleport top and take that tower out. So we'll see what happens. But I guess getting rid of a tank for, from the team fights is also really good. It's, it's doing my team a solid, either way. Yeah, he has a taunt so I can't even hit the tower and ignore him. That's what I kind of do for most of the tanks, is I just hit the tower and ignore him for a bit, and then I spin away. I'll get Scuttle and heal up. With this playstyle, you don't expect to snowball really hard and get a bunch of kills, which is what a lot of people try to misconceive and expect from a smurf, is you just get a lot of kills and win. Like, not, not really, you just get objectives and win. That's always been the case anyway. It's never been just get a lot of kills because in low elo, plenty of people get rack up plenty of kills and they still don't win the game because they don't close out the game. And what I'm trying to do this whole game is just to set up so that I can close out the game. But also I'm playing a scaling champion because, you know, lower elo games tend to last for a very long time. And I don't want that to happen, but at the same time, if it does happen, it's still okay because I scale really well. But yeah, we're just getting rich here. Might as well pick up these as well. Just pad our CS a lot more. So we can get our power spike earlier and just get rid of Galio. That's what I want to do. But yeah, he used a top which... 
Mm, I guess. I would have liked to use a bot because of how Galio is just gatekeeping me pretty much. But the moment he ports away, if he was to ult away, then this tower is going to fall right away. And maybe even the tower after that. Well, he bought magic resist. That's probably a really huge mistake by him. The next time I purchase items, I'm going to be able to kill him because he doesn't have enough armor. The disrespect, though, is off the charts. But yeah, if I keep pushing with him like this, he's going to go out of mana. And that's pretty much it. But I will never go out of mana. Like, I'll be able to sustain forever. Alright, that's fine. He can fight those minions there. I'm going to go back and buy some items and just destroy him. Not going to use my TP just yet because I feel like I could use it elsewhere. Like, there's no rush to come back to bot lane. Yep, there's a Vi over there, so that Xerath needs to run. But I'm not a fan of having this many people group up on me like this. But unless we can get a tower here, that will be huge. So let's try to get this. If Tristana's going to come here, might as well take this tower. Alright, I guess a couple of hits is better than nothing, but I accidentally hit Galio. I just feel like if Tristana was here, she could have ordered this, and this would have been down, like for sure. I think I'm gonna take red. Because I can use it to kill Galio. Okay, I think I can use this to do some serious damage to Galio. I also have plenty of AD, and he doesn't have too much armor. And there's Vi down there. Okay, I can secure Mountain Drake as well. Because I'm so pushed up, Galio has to respond to minions always, and I can always just rotate first before him. So I get priority. Alright, there's Sona here as well. But yeah, it's really hard to work down a tower because of those taunts. You can get him. Okay, we'll eventually work this down, don't worry. Like, we're out CSing him by a lot, and we're going to be able to just outperform him eventually as well. That's just the beauty of, our, of a scaling champion like Trindamir. Is no matter what, you can't go wrong if you farm well and just go even with them. But you're always on the aggressive side, because the moment they leave, this tower is yours. See right now? They'll eventually crack. It might take a while, but it'll eventually crack. And when it does, then you can start taking a lot of objectives. Eventually, I'm going to work towards a Last Whisperer, and then he won't be able to tank me no matter what he buys. Oh, what? I thought my E would have hit those. Oh, well. Get a deep ward now, because we're sieging the next tower after. This is a bit risky, I'm gonna take this out. And then we'll just keep pushing. Or maybe I can go back and buy items. Let's see, I don't have enough for Last Whisper. I'm going to go back once I have enough for that item. But yeah, right now it's just a tug of war, and it's gonna last for a very long time, and that's just the nature of split pushing against a tank, really. It's a bit risky to fight him right now until I see the enemy team. I kind of see them. Yeah, there we go. I see three of them. This is good that he's fighting me away from tower. So he's taking some serious damage. Yeah, nice. 
Very easy. Okay, I think I'm getting collapsed on according to my team, so I'll just back away. I also have teleport, so I can come back to this bot tower right away, like instantly. Okay, I, I see all of them, so I'm going to push out this right away, right now. There's no point in going back, because I get nothing out of it. But I do get a tower if I stay. So we'll keep pushing, and that's just how you maximize your time. Like, like look at this. I would have had to waste teleport to do the same thing if I went back. That's very key, by the way. This one right here is very key. Do that. If you see everyone, and it's very safe to push. So now it's not safe to push because Galio is alive. So I go back, and then I come back to defend this, or I can also teleport back and keep pressuring. Depends on what I want to do. But yeah, we have our last Whisperer now, so it's a lot easier to kill Galio. I want to go and ward Baron, because I feel like no one's going to do it. And if they take Baron, this game's going to be a lot harder than it should be. Whoa, okay. Uh, Yi's dead, so that means they might be doing Baron. Okay, if they're not, that's very good for us. Because if they did Baron, it's free for them. It's actually free. No one's going to respond. Look at these guys, they're so far away. The only person that will respond is me, and I don't think I can outsmite with my auto attacks. Alright, so... I see two of them there. I think I can kill Galio. Yeah. I think so. I'm working down his health very quickly. And now we can take a tower off of this as well. Pop our potion, take this tower. I got the slow off. Yeah, she's done so. Very nice. Yi OP. He's really good at low elo. Uh, what the heck? Oh, someone needs to block it. Yeah, someone got it. Alright. I wanted to get it, but I didn't have flash up. Okay. So you guys see how I was pushing for a very long time and it looks like it's going nowhere. But it'll get somewhere eventually if you do it right. I can take this tower right here. Also, Mountain Drake's so good for taking towers. You take it down really fast, and that's very questionable. Damn. What? Okay, I did not expect to die from that one. Although I was pressing R as well, but I pressed a bit too slow, so that's my bad. Hmm, that's my bad on that one. So what I tried to do there was go away, and then once they get distracted, I come back and take this without using my flash, my ult, or, or even dying for it. So that's what I ultimately wanted, but it didn't work out, because I messed up with my ult. Hmm, okay, that's barren for them, that sucks. Just because me and Yi messed up really badly. But, there's a chance he could steal it. He has ult. And he has dead man, so he's running really fast. I am your worst okay, actually we can clean up on this fight. Alright. That's probably the best thing I could hope for by TPing there. Although my team did get wiped out. Uh, we're actually throwing really hard by doing this. Like what happened here with what Yi did. And then me missing ult. Those are really big throws. So what I want to do is push bot. And also rotate to top as well. If I can. Drake really doesn't do much for us. Because it's Ocean Drake. But we can take it anyway. Because not much else to do. Actually they took it. Let's see if I could catch someone over here. They're probably taking blue right now. Or maybe they already took it. Okay, no. That's our blue then. Since Xerath is down there, they're probably going to start grouping down there. And what I want to do is push mid and take top. Take that top in here. Oh. 
Oh my god. Okay, what the hell? That was not me baiting her in, that's just her going in all the way. I had no flash, and eing over there was not going to get me onto Caitlyn. Yeah, this Tristan is 1 and 7, so it really explains her playstyle right now. But we should be able to pull through. I can take this in hip really quickly. Uh, Yi's here as well. I'm not going to die for this in hip though. Okay, so what I want to do is split bot now. Oh, it's going in. Ah, oh, rip. Oh, damn, he flashed. That sucks. Okay, so now we go for the last inhib. And yeah, we should be able to close out this game. I guess good thing that Yi has macro sense as well, so working out pretty well. Okay, nice. They're actually taking this out, or Tristana might die for this, but I think it's worth it. She's pretty much just there to, just as fodder anyway, so it doesn't matter what she does as long as she's not AFK. And she's, you know, just trying her best. But yeah, this Caitlyn's really, really strong, and so is Annie. So it's pretty much their whole team. Except for Vi and maybe, maybe Galio. Galio's not that strong. Oh, by the way, I, I noticed I messed up with my build. Uh, Mortal Reminder is probably not the best idea. I should have went for Lord Dominix. Because I don't think Galio heals that much. And that's really why I'm buying Last Whisper anyway, is for Galio. So I will do a lot more damage with Lord Dominix. Against Galio. Wow, he's going so ham. Oh my god, that's bad. If I go in, I would die. What I can do, maybe take this. Alright, I'm gonna try to get out. Doesn't look like it. Wow, really? I was pressing R the moment Caitlyn's auto was flying over. That really sucks. Missing so many ults this game. But the important thing is we'll get this in here, but I shouldn't have died for it. Mm, actually, I would have died for it because of that Vi ult. I'm going to go and take out this. But we have to make sure that we don't keep throwing because I think that Yi went a bit too aggressive and didn't get any kills out of it. So uh, it's actually a really big throw. Thing is, Baron's coming up in a minute 40. So we're making all these really bad throws. Like, it, it could have went a lot smoother if, say, Yi didn't do that, you know, suicide, and then I ulted there and survived. Like, that was the biggest throw because that gave them Baron. And then after that, it got a lot harder, which it shouldn't be, you know? Okay, so right now my job is just to take this bot in here. I think even if I was to die for it, it's sort of worth, because if we get triple inhib, it's pretty much game over. Yeah, they're getting stuff like ZZ Rot just to defend and push out. Which is actually a very good idea for them. But I probably will put it uh, behind my tower. Then you'll get the most out of it. Just avoid that Galio knock-up. Wait, that Tristana just jumped in like that? Hmm. The Tristana shouldn't be dying like this. Oh, that was close. I wish I was there. I can take Infernal. Yeah, I don't think they're coming. They're taking way too long to come over. So, that's an inferno for us. What I want to do is maybe get a red buff or help with Baron. But if Vi could die, that would be very huge. Hmm. 
Okay. Nothing there. I'll get rid of this blast cone. I might be able to push out top. And then after that, we'll back away right away because we got their attention. They're going to try to defend top now. So now we take Baron right away. Because we are able to push this out. But the problem is they're coming over like already. So, Man, ADCs that are really strong. So hard to deal with this meta. And that Caitlyn's very strong. That's the problem right now. Is we don't have an ADC and they do. And in this meta, really sucks. Okay, so... Oh my god, I'm getting CC to death. I should have just kept pushing top. Oh my days. Oh my days. This game's hard. But I think I need to come here and defend this one. Or else we just straight up lose. Alright, so this game has been way too messy. I'm hoping that we can do something with split pushing still, but it looks really bad because our team straight up loses in team fights, and if I was to group, then we'd lose. Because just Caitlyn's way too strong. So what I can do is just keep them somewhere else with me at bot and not die. And hopefully my team can get some pressure. Because right now we have no pressure at all. And we straight up lose team fights Because mid lost and bot lane is completely useless right now. Okay, I have to back away because Galio and also Annie. But Galio can also ult onto... Actually, Galio was really far away. There's three bot. We have to stall out and just wait for the next Baron. And once we get the next Baron, then we're good to go. But yeah, I have to keep split pushing. Okay, this is our chance to just push out. Looks like Annie's going back. So, I'll try to push this out. Damn, I'm gonna die for this. That sucks. Alright, we fixed up our build and we're gonna try to get top. I think that's the way to go. It's just taking way too long to push bot. Just because of those big minions. And I'm going to get Elixir of Iron just so that I have some tenacity. Right now their stuns are just lasting too long and their whole team has stuns.
Let's get this top tower. Man, what a game. Okay, let's go and help them. Because I have two inhibs now, but I can't do anything in base. Nice. Galio's gonna come in and suicide. Man, that's an intense game that could have been so much easier. Jesus. Alright, very nice. Hey, sweet ass. GG, well played. That was way rougher than I thought it should be. But you guys can see that there's a lot of mistakes being made, and that's why it was that hard. So I'm hoping that this game will highlight all the mistakes I made, and to avoid them or if you see them then you'll know why they're mistakes and how to avoid them in the future maybe anyways gg well played thank you so much for watching the end. i'll see you all in the next video cheers